then now we are moving to the second semester that is uh, i am going to handle your engineering mechanics uh, a subject right this is basically related to the civil uh, subject civil engineering subject and which has been uh, in terms of mechanical engineering also because a lot of mechanics is interrelated for any purpose to be uh, for a design and analysis problems in the sense uh, i would say as an introduction uh, what i meant to say is any machine or a body you know requires a normally a design first because anything suppose in household utensil you think about your a refrigerator a tv any kind of equipment you know in your house a component also when they produce it in the company basically they require the first thing is the planning they'll plan what to be produced then they go for designing of that designing in the sense how do we have a component right from its size to the shape to the working conditions all this comes under design then go for analysis analysis means when it comes to the actual working condition uh, what are all the difficulties faced and what difficulties can be overcome and see that we get an ultimate efficiency through that uh, particular component for example you take about a uh, television Uh, you know a tv there are n number of companies which produces television and uh, say for example you will you know have a, in a general market we have something uh, we number it as 1 2 3 4 etc right uh, i didn't want to you know mention the company names that you know better than me so that based on what the clarity the you know the picture what you see through the tv the arrangements and maybe the you know weight of the total tv weightage or uh, the portability you know this means uh, you can easily transfer from one place to other place all this comes under some certain you know criteria so this mechanics is a subject actually i can say it's a physical science i'll say this is a physical science mechanics is a physical science basically it starts by physics it's a physical science which deals with a body a normal body which is at rest or in motion right see i am standing here you consider this a human body now i'll be speaking to you i'll be you know moving my hands to the right or left or the top to the bottom or it's in motion so the two kinds either i can stand erect like this a static condition or it's in moving condition so like this anything you refer any material any particle any unit whatever it is so that body will have two kinds of you know uh, uh mean point means two sets of body. either it is static or in dynamic motion and although the static is the one at uh, where the body is completely at rest it means i just take consider this stock piece now this is at a static position this is a particle or a body you can consider see the particle or body or difference what you can say number of particles put together can make a body you know so i can either consider a single particle or a body i can say. so this chuck piece is at static position now it's not moving when i apply force in the sense i'll just give a push what will happen it will move so these two conditions are basically taught by mechanic subject statics or dynamics so how can i put together that i'll write it is mechanics right so this is subdivided into your statics and dynamics is okay the mechanics subdivided into statics and dynamics and the statics further division is not the because statics is body is always remain in set of rest okay and the dynamics could be again subdivided into two it is kinematics and kinetics k i n e t i c s dynamics subdivided into kinematics and kinetics is that okay so this is in general you know a small layout of what is mechanics is so mechanics is a physical science right which is dealing about which deals about a body which is at rest or at motion or can it statics and dynamics i will say physical science which is about a body at rest 
a body it is at rest or at motion okay so this is all. so in that it comes mechanics and statics and dynamics so dynamics means what whichever it is under motion and then comes kinematics in dynamics is subdivided into two areas that is kinematics and kinetics is it okay now that's your your basic introduction and under the introduction you have some next topic is called units and dimensions okay this units and dimensions is the one where for normally anything you consider you know how do i speak you know my name is santil kumar say how, what is my height it is about some feet or centimeters that means it's the unit so anything involved when you want to specify you need to specify its mass and unit also is it true anything will have some weight so if it is very minimum also you will have some weight for that okay and now about this uh, dynamics is divided into kinematics and kinetics what i said so in this units and dimensions right so whatever the body which is it is in statics or dynamics or which is subdivided into these things you are anything to specify you need to say in terms of units or dimensions so dimensions nothing but your shape you can say so unit is what generally basically any any object or a particle or a body you take first thing is you need mass right so i'll say it's mass okay or you can say it's not or you know how to derive mass and weight okay i can say your basic physics w is equal to m into g is that right basic physics is weight is equal to mass into acceleration what is this is acceleration due to gravity right so first is mass then you need time it's called fundamental quantities i hope you remember the subject what you studied in plus 2 physics right as well as in first year first semester also then time so this mass and time two things two parameters initially and fundamental quantities based on this everything keeps changed for example if i take a body a body can be either in rest or motion i said if if i speak about motion what is motion related to i can say a speed some one or two you know uh, uh, parameters related to the motion then acceleration okay velocity etc so these are the basic some things related to motion i'm telling at rest means you will say at mass a mass of uh, say 50 kg a weight of so many newtons okay is at rest this much but when it comes to motion you have to specify the force which is applied and its unit also because the body is moving the amount of force which is applied to the body and its what unit is this in generally if i speak force what is force generally force is equal to i can say force f symbol is f okay is equal to mass into acceleration your force is equal to mass into acceleration this acceleration a is different from this acceleration g is it okay so weight is equal to m into g this mass the mass is both same but this acceleration is the one with which the body travels when you apply a force but this is the body i said when i am applying a force to this body the body will move what is the force applied with the applied force it travels with an acceleration this a is that acceleration okay for that you have a separate unit an acceleration means this acceleration is generally as you know unit of acceleration is meter per second square right that you have already studied from your sixth standard also so acceleration is meter per second square mass is as i can say kg yeah unit of mass is kg kilograms this a is meter per second square so mass per second square what is this and body which has has a mass of say 10 kilograms 10 kilograms it travels with a force that force an applied force it's again travels at what time 
in the so many meters is the distance traveled with the body at the time of say some seconds what is seconds 100 seconds 50 seconds 200 seconds whatever it is so like this your units and dimensions is an important uh, you know uh, step after your introduction you need to know the units and dimensions for all parameters say for example your speed acceleration velocity whatever it is right from force so there are there are around 50 or 24 uh, parameters given with its name the quantity its unit and its uh, you know uh, along with what is the correlation for this acceleration means its mass per m by x s square meter per second square like that if you want to force how do you write an unit for force if you know force is equal to again mass into acceleration is said now mass becomes kg so how would I, I will just write the unit for your force right now I am writing force here force is equal to mass into acceleration is that okay now force what is my unit of mass it is kilogram what is unit of acceleration this acceleration is not even g g is acceleration to gravity that acceleration due to gravity is the one which is may which is pulled up due to the earth's attraction the body has been pulled up if i drop this body it will fall down how it falls down due to its self weight and the, due to the attraction of the earth the body falls down that is called g your meter per second square it's again acceleration g symbol is also this one is also meter per second square only but this is due to earth's attraction right that is your basic physics you are already learnt so now i am talking about this acceleration okay that is force is equal to kg meter per second square so what will happen this is m and this a is the acceleration is it okay? Now I can say the unit of force is kg meter per second square. Is it right? So what happens here? A force has got a unit of kg meter per second square. How can I say? This is, say for example, I have a body for which I apply 10 Newton force. I will not say 10 kg meter per second square. I should say in terms of Newton because basically force unit of force is Newton. So what I mean to say here, the so one kg meter per second square is equal to one Newton. You right? So one kg meter per second square is is a one Newton. It is. The purpose is force is equal to Newton unit of force. Unit of force is Newton. This is how you relate. This is very very important because once you understand force, the formula for force is mass into acceleration. It's your basic physics. I'm again repeating. You have studied this from say class six standard or at least by class tenth or ninth. Okay. So this mass has got a unit of kg and acceleration a is an unit of meter per second square. So one kg meter per second square is equal to one newton, which becomes unit of force. Only understand this one. So, like this, if your units and dimensions is for understanding what is an unit for a particular parameter. When you go for speed, it will be different unit. Acceleration, different unit. Velocity, different unit. Every parameter has got a unit with which you speak about it. Now, general, a car is moving. A car travels from, I say from Coimbatore, some place. It goes to, you know, Chennai. How do I mean it? It goes with what speed? Some speed. What is that meaning? Some in terms of some unit. When acceleration, some unit. Velocity, some unit. So, apart from your introduction, units and dimensions is the one which is very, very important for any student to understand how do we specify a particular particle in terms of force or other parameters. Very, very important. And next comes your loss of mechanics. In mechanics, as I already told you, mechanics is, is basic. Uh, it's a physical science which is divided into statics and dynamics there are certain laws loss means a theory behind it which is being told by your eminent scientists you know from your many long years back in this basically there are many people like Galileo a scientist was given a substantial input for mechanics and next comes Sir Isaac Newton right Sir Isaac Newton 
who has given a substantial contribution for the subject of mechanics. With this particular scientist's loss, L-A-W-S, loss, the lot of, you know, analysis has been done in mechanics. We will just see, under this loss of mechanics, we are going to see the three loss, you know, which has been uh, state, the statement of the loss as well as the applications of this three laws, which is given by Sir Isaac Newton. Okay.